Well, 4 million Hoosiers live in the path of totality for the upcoming total solar eclipse with hundreds of thousands of visitors expected to flock to Indiana for that spectacle. Well, it's easy to see why parts of the state will get to witness up to four minutes of totality. So don't blink through those special glasses. It's going to go fast. Christina is here now to show us who will see what. Well, all of these cities are within a comfortable drive from Louisville, but if you're looking to head to a city with the longest time in totality, both Vincennes and Bloomington, Indiana, will be in the darkness for just over four minutes. One of the closest places you can go, though, is French Lick. They're going to be in totality for just over three minutes. In fact, Chief Meteorologist Ben Pine and I will be there at French Lick West Baden for our official WHAS 11 watch party. We do hope to see you there, but if not, Paoli, Jasper, Seymour, and Santa Claus are all in our area as well, also hosting their own watch parties. There's really no shortage of desirable choices to view the total solar eclipse in Kentuckiana. Now, for planning purposes, you are going to want to get to where you're going several hours early. Not only is there going to be traffic, but partial totality begins about an hour from the times that you're seeing here. For example, partial totality begins in Columbus, Indiana at 1.50. Then it's going to peak right around 3 o'clock. Now it's a total duration of 2 hours and 33 minutes from start to finish. Really, no matter where you're headed, it's sure to be an exciting day.